beat the odds, do numbers, and remain humble. Yeah. Top tie punches, I'm so used to this. at the power. How are we? This is King Pitts here. Today, we are going to be making sports edits using only free iPhone apps. This first app that we are on is called Snapseed. And um, as you can see, I have a picture of Cam Newton. And um, I just got this off of Google, just Google image, Cam Newton, and this popped up. And I thought it was pretty hard, so that's why I have it. And, um, yeah, you can get pictures from Instagram or take pictures, just any kind of picture, really. And, um, yeah, on Snapseed, there's a bunch of different settings and effects that you can do. Like, um, the tune image, you can do, like, the brightness, the contrast, and, um, other stuff. Details is, um, sharpening the image and the structure. And, um, there's the HDR, which, um kind of what we call skins when we're making sports edits and that kind of makes it look like more realistic and more smooth so you can kind of play around with the filter strength and there's like there's so many um settings on this so you can just go wild but this is usually what i do just with um snapseed so yeah you could see um if you've seen other sports edits they usually look like really smooth or really clear and that's what we're trying to do here with this HDR and uh, Cam Newton. And uh, this the HDR um, kind of just basically just makes it clearer. So you can make it a lot stronger or um, not as strong just by dragging your finger left and right across the, st the screen. So this looks pretty good. So um, hit export, save, and um, put, and it goes right to your... Uh, photo library in your iPhone and I also got this other picture of Cam Newton because on the app where I um, basically just take out the background um, I could kind of put this in the background as a fade if you've seen others where it's kind of faded in the background this is what we're doing so um, yeah I basically do the same thing from the last picture with this picture and um, as you can see I just adjusted the warmth which the warmth is just um, if you make it, um, if you increase the warmth, then it becomes, like, more orange or, like, a reddish uh, with, like, warm colors. And if you put it, um, if you decrease it to, like, the negative numbers, then it becomes, uh, blue. Um, just because, like, blue's a cool color and red and orange is, like, a warm colors. So, yeah, back to this HDR, uh, scape. And there's, like, different kinds where it, like, puts different textures and stuff on it. You can just kind of do what you want with it. But um, this is what I do. I usually do the people, which is the one I'm on right now. And because um, it is... Okay, so back to the settings here. Um, there's a lot of different settings on there that, um, like, the vintage, if you saw right there, uh, drama, uh, grunge... Grunge kind of makes it like, like if you have like a gray background, it can kind of make it like look rough and pretty like kind of rustic. And um, the vintage kind of puts like uh, filters on it to make it look like kind of like an old picture. So I'll save this to my camera roll. As you can see. Okay, so we're back here on Snapseed. Got this blue and black background off of Google. Just from Googling blue and black backgrounds. Some hexagons in there. And there's an uh, icon that pops up on uh, Snapseed's home screen. says last edits. And it kind of makes the um, the background look like the edits that you did before with the HDR escapes. And the lighting and um, everything else, basically. Next, we're going to go to this app called Background Eraser. Which is the one in the dead center right here. And we're going to hit the photo icon in the top left corner, get our picture of Cam Newton. And then in the bottom right corner is where you can get your, um, your backgrounds with, um, uh, you can put any background in there, anything from your camera roll. Um, I'm just going to keep it just the PNG for right now since I'm doing, uh, just this for now because i have another picture that i have to put in with this 
And um, for those of you who do not know, a PNG is just a picture with a transparent background, which is just the um, the white and gray um, checkers in the background that indicates that it's a PNG. And that's why I also have that um, Panthers PNG. So I'm also going to put that in this edit. So, um, yeah, you can... So we're erasing our Cam Newton right now, the background for it of the field. So, um, yeah, at the bottom, there, you, as you see, there's a width and an offset. Uh, the width is just, like, how big you want the circle to be. And, um, yeah, you just try to get um, try to get as much Cam Newton as you can and get as little background as you can. As you can see, obviously, the little you can get it much um, more smaller to get, like, in his armpits and um, so forth. And the offset is um as you see that little um dot below the bigger one um that's just where your finger is compared to where um the circle is so it's like kind of easier so your finger's not like directly over where you're erasing so obviously the greater you're going to make your offset the farther away your finger is going to be from the actual eraser and obviously the smaller it is your finger is basically going to be on top of um the um part where you're erasing which i don't recommend i recommend you put at least about what i have it right now is about halfway offset that that's pretty good that's what i like so um i'm gonna put it to the smallest width get in between his fingers and obviously at the top you see there's an undo so if you mess something up you can obviously just hit that and just undo it so you don't want his fingers to look just like sticks you want to look actually like fingers which it is hard sometimes because um maybe if they have a clenched fist or if their fingers are together or some are kind of like in awkward positions but um yeah you can just kind of play around with it as much as you want so we're gonna go around his helmet now and you try to make this as smooth as you can so it looks kind of genuine in the edit and um yeah get that excess stuff out and <clears throat> Um, yeah, just, um, just play around with the width and so forth, and, um, I'll show you, um, after I get, um, all around him to, um, get the excess stuff off, um, so it doesn't appear on the edit, and make sure it look clean, like this one's going to be. So, yeah, you can see getting in on his arm, um, you just, once you put, like, the the black and white as you can see in the bottom left corner is a black square if you just tap that then it turns just the whole background black so you can kind of see like if anything's left in the background and um anything else that you have to get rid of but um <clears throat> yeah, you try to get as r rid of as much background as you possibly can without taking away from the actual picture so like obviously in between those fingers um, it can only get so small, so I can't really get all of that. But um, I'll try to get as much as I can from it. But, like, if if it's, like... Like, I have this one of Cam Newton, of his feet and stuff. Obviously, if you want to, like, cut out, you don't have to go so far, like, in-depth with his feet. You can just kind of... You can almost just take him out, basically. And just uh, kind of zoom in on the top part and make that the edit but um, for this one I want his like whole body in there to make it look kind of um genuine so you get around his thighs and get around his shins and um also when you go on the black you can kind of see if it's kind of sharp to where it kind of looks like pixelated but um yeah you can kind of go through with your circle and try to like smoothen it out a little bit so, um, I basically got everything done at this point. So, zoom back out and see him. And we tap and it goes black and you see, that's what I'm talking about, those little specks. And I'm kind of smoothing it out, make it look, um, not, like, sharp or anything. Yeah, as you can see, zoom in, um, <clears throat> there's a lot more specks by his legs. And, uh, see that little sharp part, just take that out, make it smooth. Uh, his fingers, try to get as much of his fingers as I can. 
And as you see, I kind of went into his one, but um, that's okay. And see, his pinky looks kind of weird. So just hit undo, and it goes back. So um, just do a little bit. Yeah, not too much. Definitely not too much. Sometimes less is more, and this is kind of um, part of that sometimes. And it's just the stuff between his fingers. Nobody's really going to see that. And I go to the white, see if there's just any more specs. So as you can see, there's the part by his thigh that I just um, got rid of. So now we hit done. And um, you can hit save. If you're doing just PNGs, that's what you want to do. Hit the top right corner where it has save. And um, save it that way with the PNG because it doesn't have a watermark when you do it but um if you're doing like um backgrounds or like once you put like the actual edit on it like as you see here i'm putting the uh, panthers png on and um sometimes if it's like too wide i'll do this i'll just zoom in screenshot it and um crop out the black part so um there's like more space to put stuff in and it's not too uh landscape and too far back so we'll go back to the edit, hit album, go into our camera, we'll get our new one, see it comes out uh, a lot bigger. We have our Panthers uh, PNG. <clears throat> when you look this up online, make sure it has the gray and white checkers in the back, so it does have a transparent background. So we're just going to put this in the top right corner, and we're going to screenshot this. I'm not going to save the background part because it would have a watermark in the bottom right corner, and that is not what we want because it takes away from the overall spacing of the edit. So we have um, both um, PNGs of Cam Newton. I just uh, took out the other one of Cam Newton because I basically just did the same thing as I did the first time. So you can only put in one at a time. So we have the first Cam Newton that we did. You can see we can make him bigger, smaller, and um, try to find the right place for him without making him kind of jump off the page. And this looks pretty good. And you can go here to smooth, and you can see it kind of makes him fade into the background or smoothens him out a little bit. So, um, yeah, you, if you just do one, that kind of just takes out the sharp part and makes it look uh, decent. Um, and there's the saturation, the contrast, highlights, and shadows, which we basically already did all that stuff. Um, this is just for, like, kind of extra stuff. This isn't necessary at all. And, um, yeah, this is the, the Vignette, and, um, it makes the outer part of, uh, Cam darker, which, um, none of this is necessary, I usually don't do any of this, but I just wanted to do this just for the sake of the video, so put him in the right spot, right about there, screenshot, do not save, and, um, yeah, crop out, uh, the other stuff, save the photos, so there's that, <clears throat> Next, we get our other Cam Newton, go to Backgrounds, and we hit the edit that we just made. And um, we're going to put him on the right side. And um, also, the good thing about um, uh, snapshotting this is um, the quality comes out a lot better. You do not have the watermark. And um, also, like, w when you do save it, which I did before, it would have the watermark and the quality would be bad. So I'd kind of have to do it, like, ho all over again. While uh, the, the screenshot just makes it have, like, better quality. Um, it comes out, like, better. It comes out bigger because it doesn't, like, sometimes it, like, cuts it out. So, um, anyways, um, to our other cam, we have him uh, pretty smoothened out here to where he's faded. Um, right uh, below the Panthers logo so we'll uh, crop this and that's basically our edit right there um, and then we're gonna go here to Photoshop Express this is another app I use also free on the App Store all the apps I use are completely free so log in with my Facebook account And uh, access photos, we'll go to the edit we just made. And um, you can uh, crop it on here. There's a lot of different effects you can go in here too, like uh, color noise and um, the saturation, of course. Um, and there's different filters and stuff to where you can adjust the strengths. 
So, um, yeah, just play around with it as, um, just to your liking, basically. And uh, we're here on the shadows. And um, the shadows and the whites and the blacks kind of... Um, it takes out from the background a little bit, makes um, uh, it pop kind of more. So if you make it darker, uh, as you can see, it makes the background darker. And obviously, if you make it um, larger, then it will become more uh, pale and almost like it has a color blast on it. So there's a lot of different um, effects that you can uh, use this for, but it's... Um, it's kind of the same as the other apps, but um, since we just finished our edit and we want it kind of smooth, uh, kind of keep it smooth, then we'll, um, we're just going to do this. Um, here's the uh, the vibrant. As you can see, you don't want it too vibrant because it kind of brings out those grass stains on Cam Newton with the white jersey. So you don't want to get too crazy with some of this stuff because, like I said before, less is more sometimes. And uh, this is where... It, um, it kind of takes place because you don't want too much of this or too much of that kind of, it's sometimes better to just do, um, that like, um, before, um, some of my edits, I'd have like five of the same person kind of faded in the back or sometimes not even faded at all, just five of the same person on there. Um, if you look on my Instagram page, you can kind of see them at pits.graphics. P I T Z dot G R A F F I X um, on Instagram. Um, I um, I think it was a Jabril Peppers one. I had like three of him, and none of them were faded out. And it kind of I don't I don't think it came out that good. You can kind of have your own opinion about it. And um, yeah, um, sometimes less is more. Obviously, with this. Um, the one cam, um, you obviously want something that um, pops out there, but you don't want too much. That's why I have the other cam kind of uh, faded out, so it's not like taking all the attention away from uh, the white cam that's not faded out. And um, after this, um, yeah, just screenshot it again because uh, the quality is better uh, with this. You can save it if you want. Um, it doesn't affect the quality too much. And uh, this part, guys, is um, this is all optional right here. You do not have to do this. But this is an app called Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O, to where you just add text on it. And I'm just going to put um, my uh, IG account when I post it. And uh, this app has many different fonts. So he can um, also get creative with this. Um, put the player's name in the background. Um, sometimes put up uh, behind their names before you um, make the actual edit and um, yeah you could just play around with it as much as you want basically I'm just putting uh, at pits.graphics as you can see some of the um, fonts have different um, uh, like uh, symbols and stuff so um, like I just put a dot in and sometimes it doesn't show up for some fonts so, um, you don't want anything, you want something that people can read, so, like, if, like, a Panthers fan page wants to use this picture, then, um, if they just, like, screenshot it, or, or if I send it to them, then, uh, my, um, watermark's up there, so, um, if other people see that, then they'll be like, oh, he makes edits, and they'll go to my page, and, uh, follow me, and, yeah, so, um, once you tap on it, you can get a style and um, many different colors to pick from. Um, as you can see, you could play around with the settings to make it blue. Um, obviously, I'm going to make it blue just because it's the Carolina Panthers and they're blue and black. So, um, yeah, there's many different shades of blue, um, the grays and uh, stuff. Then here's the stroke, which is just the outline. You can make it negative to go kind of inside of the letters instead of going outside, <clears throat> which I think that's pretty cool. And uh, as you can see, I put it back there, and it didn't uh, pop out as much as I wanted it to. And uh, that looks pretty good right there. So just uh, tilt it, make it just a little smaller. Screenshot. Um, Fonto kind of takes away from the quality, too, so you do want to um, screenshot for this. I would 
recommend screenshotting for this. Take out the sides, hit done, save the photos, and you're basically done. That's about it. Yeah.